Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be installing macOS Monterey onto my MacBook Pro. Now in case you're not familiar with my machine, I will open up about this Mac just to show you what the specs are. So I'm currently running Catalina and this is a 15 inch mid 2015 with the 2.2 gigahertz quad core i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM and the Iris Pro integrated graphics. Now as you can see, I'm still on Catalina. I never upgraded to Big Sur, mainly because I didn't like the way it looked. Now Monterey does still pretty much look the same as Big Sur, but I've kind of got over that now. And also I was slightly concerned that it would slow down my machine. Now, of course, Monterey being a year newer than Big Sur will probably slow my machine down even more. But to find out whether that is the case, I have done a few tests within Catalina and I'll be repeating those within Monterey to see how much my MacBook Pro slows down. And that will be the next video which I upload. So if you would like to know whether my machine does slow down after upgrading, check out my next video and that should give you the answer. But I have recently done a Time Machine backup. So I do have a very new backup of my Catalina install. So if for some reason it goes catastrophically wrong, the install of Monterey doesn't work, it's too slow or I just don't like it, I'll just restore from my backup. But without talking for too long, let's just go and install macOS Monterey. All right, so here we go. I have now got a little bit of a closer angle and without messing around, let's just click on install. Now this did take quite a while to download because it is about 12 gigabytes, but let's just go through this setup and hopefully this should work. So let's definitely read through all of this and let's agree agree up there and where do we want to install it we will install it on Macintosh HD that is fine and now let's go on to the next step and there we go it's just going to install just like that and while it is starting I'll just discuss how this will probably be the last version of Mac OS to ever be supported on my computer so they've brought the minimum requirements quite a lot forward to most 2015 and newer machines. I believe Big Sur still supported the 2013 machines, but that's not the case anymore. I believe the latest machine which is now supported is the 2013 Mac Pro, late 2014 Mac Mini, and then the 2015 Retina MacBook Pros like mine. So this will probably be the last official release which this computer will be able to natively run. I'm guessing with patches it will still be possible, but natively this will probably be the last. And this is saying it will take about 14 minutes. It did just say 17, it's now gone down to 13. It's not actually been that long. So I will just cut ahead to whenever something happens. And it's literally been a minute or two and it is ready to restart. So let's now let it restart. And this is probably the bit which will take some time. There we go, screen has gone blank and hopefully it reboots. In the past doing updates, I have had some problems where it's just decided it doesn't want to boot from the SSD anymore. So let's hope that that doesn't happen today. But it looks like it's now showing up on my MacBook Pro, so I guess we will now have to film this display instead. And there we go, it looks like it is now booting up again. It did just have about 20 seconds of a completely black screen, but I thought something might have gone wrong. But it looks like it's now going to carry on installing. We've now got a completely black screen again. Let's hope it comes back on. We'll probably get some sort of countdown saying how long it will take. It looks like we've got another progress bar and then we should get to the slightly nicer looking screen with a picture of the Monterey logo if this install is the same as it has been in the past. Ah, now we do have a countdown on this screen. It says 29 minutes remaining. So if that's correct, I'll be back in 29 minutes. We are now rebooting again. It got to about 10 minutes on the previous countdown. I'm guessing we're probably going to get another countdown, but let's just see. I've not installed a modern 
well, really modern version of Mac OS for a few years. Catalina is the latest I've installed on anything, so I'm not really too sure how the install and then setup goes on Big Sur and Monterey, because of course they did change the UI design, so I'm guessing they probably did change parts of the installer as well, but I'll cut and then come back again when something happens. And it looks like it is now on the final stage as it's coming back up on my monitor. So it's not actually done yet, it's just come back up on my monitor and now it says about nine minutes remaining. So in those nine minutes, I'm guessing we'll be on the setup screen and then I will resume. All right, we are now on less than a minute remaining. It seems to have gone smoothly so far. And there we are, it has now come on and there was no setup to do. It looks like it's just gone straight to the lock screen and the new wallpaper is in the background. So let's log in. Ah, this is where we now have to click these things. I'm just going to agree to this. And I can already see some of the new UI that came in Big Sur, but of course I've not experienced this yet. Ah, what is this? Okay, so I'm getting some warnings here that Carbon Copy Cloner is not is not ready for this version of Mac OS. That's okay. And just like that, we are now on the desktop. As you can see, it's changed my background to the new background. I do actually quite like it, but let's go see what the other options are. Let's go into desktop and screensaver. There's quite a few options here. Some of them are older, some of them are newer, and these look like the new ones which come on the new IMAX down there, but it looks like this thing has worked. And there we go, look, there's one of the new icons, although I'm guessing it's not new, it's just new to me, but I actually quite like this, and so far it looks to be quite responsive. Let's just take a look, let's go into About This Mac to make sure everything is okay. There we go, macOS Monterey version 12.0.1, and everything looks to be just fine in there. So I think that will be it for this video. I will now go and make the other part to the video comparing the speed from before and after, but that will be it for this. It looks to have successfully updated and so far, so good. So thank you for watching this video. If you've updated to Monterey, let me know in the comments how that went, but I will now leave and make that other video. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.